Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone. In this video, I will show you how to create a Revit family lighting fixture that can be used for architecture and also MEP project. So in this session, we will go through all of the lighting modeling aspect in Revit that we should take care of. Okay, first of all, we go to file tab here. Create new family. Okay, and then in the family template library, we'll find lighting. As you can see, there are lots of lighting family template that we can choose from. Either ceiling based, wall based, fixture generic. It means it independent of certain type of system component then linear lighting fixture ceiling base linear wall base and also generate linear lighting fixture so in this video we will use we will be using a lighting fixture ceiling based then open Okay, so now we are on the ceiling plans reference level. Bear in mind that we must use the ceiling plans, not the floor plans. In lighting ceiling base, we will draw or do the modeling works based on the ceiling plane. So we we'll go to extrusion, square, the square downlet. For the size, we will adjust to 170, then 170 diameter, mm, move it to the center, alright, you click finish. Then we can go to front to check on elevation. We adjust it a little bit to maybe 15. 15 is okay. So this is for the panel. Next, we will model the glass panel or the LED panel create extrusion pick line set in 5 right? I think five. so it will automatically trim trim the corner so to check, we just measure it to know the measurement. 160. Yeah. All right. Then we go to the elevation. Increase it a little bit. Then this. Elevation will be based on this the surface of the panel, right? Okay, next we will go to material for the class. Okay. So we can choose type luminance. So, yes, so we just click it, add material to the document. You check the render appearance. Just want to check self illumination. 
right white white lamp shade interior 2.5 maybe okay okay bear in mind that all of this just for the material only and it will not affect our our lighting pattern or our lighting properties that we will edit in the edit type properties so this only for the materials then okay make sure in setting all right so the most important thing in lighting is that the light source here the light source definition is okay so you can also edit according to your lighting fixture and shape as it is point semicircle here we got spot hemisphere circle so in this video or family we will use the point shape emitting then distribution will go to photometric web okay so apply then okay as you can see it will go beyond the ceiling so we must edit it to make sure uh, the lighting can be visual correctly like to fit maybe three feet now. all right so the next part is the family types uh, so this will be our family lighting properties before that before this we just edit the material so it, it is only white appear on the material so if you want to if you want to change the color for the lighting source the round here we must edit it in photometrics properties here we can edit all of the engineering electrical lighting engineering properties that we want according to the specific light so here I will only change the initial color to daylight you know, daylight standard white okay if you if you not change it so it will become what available on this what we choose in this setting so this setting is substantial in creating a revit lighting family before that we just change the material the glass even if it is self illumination and what it will not control the lighting source distribution color so we must set these family types properly as for the initial intensity maybe according to the engineering calculation or even the products catalog you can see and just put in the data so for example i want this like 4000 uh, for one because we got two light we will place two light steam fixture on a road in the room so 4000 lumens so total photo will be 8000 all right the angle maybe zero so you can see it tilts so this is the web 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 file if you want if you have any detailed IIS file for the photometric web pattern okay so you can click apply so you can see the the T angle to zero before that 60 so okay and we go to load into project project one okay
So elevation. To just place it here one, two. We place it on the ceiling plans because it is a ceiling plan, a ceiling based family. So we align it a little bit, cancel. Then go to 3D V1, our camera. As you can see, it is the material that we control about the safe elements. So for the lighting distribution property, we must edit in the family type properties, not the material. Okay, let's go render. We'll be just using the draft, maybe 150, just for the just for the demo then click render so we will see our rendering lighting and bear in mind to check your lighting scheme to make sure it is interior artificial only this is for checking your lighting properties either correct or not so you can edit it in the family editor if it's not according to your standard Okay, so here in this progress, you can see it is the daylight color of the lighting. So how you want to color scheme, you can stop here. Yes, so we can try to edit it. Edit it. family you can just change the type properties here so we want to cool white or what? cool white or warm white warm white Okay, we just pick it. This is the color filter only. No. The color filter is only act as a filter, so not the main initial color. Click OK. Then load into project. Which one? Okay. Override this and its parameter values. Okay, you can try to render RR. Okay, render.
Okay, so from this progress, you can see it is based on the dominance type of juice. And for the color filter, you you can see it is white. And also according to our material that we have chosen. And for the ambience, it will be according to our type properties. So, so maybe better we can just align for both to be the same property of color. So this is more demo. Alright. Okay, so for this video, this will be the end. And thank you for watching. You can also subscribe and share my channel for more modeling videos on Reddit.